my Wednesday night stream, accompanied by Fluffmorn the cat, and today we are going to be looking at cooking operations and restocking and setting up some shopping operations I think. So first things first though we need to do our beginning routines. So let's get the frame rate on, there we go. So what's been in the mail today? Obviously Antorus has come out. Um, interestingly, not a lot of expires since this morning. 15,000 in sales. That's all the critical strikes and trained soldiers gone. I wonder if these are all by the same person. Yes, they are. All by the same person. Interestingly. Right, let's open up all the mail. So that should take me to 995,000 gold. So we're almost at a million. We're literally 5,000 gold off of a million. That's awesome. So only half a million to go before my target in a month. Okay. So let's go through, do our usual cancel scans. I'm just going to do enchant, I think, for, for tonight because I don't have a lot of time on a Wednesday. I let the others expire if need be. Neck and rings and tomes and relics. I'm expecting most of these to be undercut. Ancient Priestess is still not a decent price. Um, and how is Distant Army the underperformer? Well, I don't think I've even put it on. But yes, definitely lots of undercuts, which is not surprising. It's the time when people who want to make gold are going to be active. Trying to sell to the people who are active in their raids. That's fine by me. I'm sure they're all busy raiding right now. Let's open up all of these. Lagging a little bit. Hopefully um, the stream's working alright because my Twitch channel, I'm getting a lot of error loading data problems, which I've not had before. So hopefully the health of that's alright. Right, auctioning, post scan, let's put all these on. Need to at least get these existing ones on. Yeah, Ancient Priestess and Distant Army both aren't worth putting on at the moment. Which is fine, they barely sell anyway, so I'm alright with that right now. Okay, that's that done. Let's have a look at if there's a restock required. So this is what I want to set up with the cooking, is to have another kind of like a restock the cooking and do a... I need to organise the group, I'm kind of thinking about how I'm going to do that. Um, ah, we've got... Hydro Expedition Bags now saying it's in profit. That's interesting. So, well, let's do the enchants first, of which we're going to need Arcana, of which we have none, so we're going to have to do Laylight into Arcana. Let's just do a quick check whilst I'm here, shopping wise, for Arcana and Laylight, just to see if there's any bargains. I'm not expecting them to be. But, see this at 16 isn't too bad. For convenience, I'm actually going to buy these. All these at 16. Because it just means I don't have to make the braces right now. And I'm slightly pressed for time tonight. So I'm just going to buy those up. Um, I'll leave those ones. And Laylight, how's that looking? Obviously my profit margins are going to be slightly more. This isn't too much over my price. Um, where's my Ley Light? Crystals. I haven't actually got any Arcana, but Ley Light's here at max cost of 40. So that's definitely not worth buying. Let's just check Chaos Crystals whilst we're here though. Just to see 
Yeah, they're up at 225. I wish I bought more when they were under 200. But there we are. Them is the choices you make. So we're now down to 990,000 gold after buying that Arcana. But that at least just gives me gives me a stock to just get these enchants on without having to do the bracer shuffle just yet. The main focus is going to be let's get these let's do the wheel mouse for these I think is to have a look at my cooking and see if I can get that a bit more streamlined tonight. Right okay that's that done let's switch over to tailoring uh, hex weave we're not got enough of but the hydro expedition bag looks like we just need bolts of ember silk can we gather those let's start gathering bolt of ember silk you're saying well let's intermediate craft them there you go that's easier so we'll make our we'll make our bolts rather than buy them seeing as I happen to have some ember silk in my bank somewhere somewhere amongst all that stuff I've stuffed in there really could do with clearing it out making use of the guild bank capacity what well, now that I've got tailoring cooking and enchanting and they all need their kind of like their stocks and finally I'm really running out of space plus this is my main so I've got all the other stuff that a main would normally have rather than being just like a dedicated profession person yeah hex weave cloth I'm not expecting but that's fine we've done enough to get our hydro expedition bag we might as well put that on. Let's go into auctioning, bags, post scan. So the expedition bag is going for 4999. Show item auctions. So there's only one person on with a flat price of 5000. So I'll go under that and I put my others on which all seem like decent prices okay that's on that's all good happy about that so now where are we at let's let's think about what we're going to do with cooking and how I'm going to structure it so at the moment in TSM groups wise I've just got one cooking group which just has a few of the things I've picked up so far now what I'm thinking of doing is splitting these into raid food and well, stuff I want to do actually I probably want to just put it all on I'm thinking about how I'm going to divide it up so I'm going to split this into food and ingredients perhaps. Let's make an ingredients group. Ingredients. We've got ingredients and then I'm going to call this group food. Hey drop pencil, thanks for stopping by. We just um having a little sort out and set up of cooking at the moment so I'm working out how I'm going to split everything so in terms of food that I want to sell I'm going to do the salad definitely the bear tartare definitely and the drug bar style salmon well fed and don't know if that's a good seller or not what else did we have in our lists I sold one of these spiced falcus or omelettes and 
surf and turf I actually sold I think but I want to keep some of that for the for the salad because it's in the the salad requires it where are we at um, snacks salad yeah, the salad's got a profit of 294 at the moment which is pretty good and that requires the surf and turf I ought to get these herbs in the um, in the same group I think I did have a group called herbs here that I think I'm going to get rid of now because I don't think these have a shopping operation on oh yes they do have a shopping operation okay let's leave that herbs herbs I'll leave there ingredients and food so what else could we have um, nightborn delicacy platter or the hungry magister and the Suramar feast definitely if I could possibly but with only rank one that's not going to be a profit right now so let's let's see how I could import these is it the import string can I click that or something to do with shift clicking whilst they're in your crafting window I believe let's try that no there was something I remember Ignis telling me that you could import there we go Lavish Surama Feast we want to import. That work? No. That's because I think it might be in somewhere else. Or did I not click OK? Let's try that again. What oh, one are we at? We're in food. Import export. Move already. There we go, we want to do that. Import. Shift click that click OK there we go ah thank you infinity and monkey twitch for the follow very kind of you to stop by and give me a follow right that's how you do it clear filters so what else what else could we be making the salad and some of these I don't know which are going to be good and which aren't the hungry magister I think is is in profit at the moment so let's bring that one in uh, hungry magister can we do more than one let's see if we can do more than one let's do let's do drug bar style salmon because these large meals have got profits on them Let's do a Surama Surf and Turf. I could sell and then make sure I keep a stock of some. Let's see if that works. Clear filters, pickled, and oh, now we're in large. Lay barbecue ribs, clear filters, koi scented storm ray. Clear filters. Drop our style salmon, I think we've already got. And the barracuda thing. Those haven't gone in, okay. Import export. Probably doing them all at once probably wouldn't work. Okay, that's fine. I'm still working this out at the moment. Some of these I know I've got in my inventory, so I can do them easily, like the drop bar style salmon. And spice falcastor omelette. What else we've got? Let's clear that queue. Um, and hide the queue actually. Now we can see them side by side. That's easier. So maybe if I split this actually into the same way they've done it, that might be quite nice. Cooking food feasts and 
delicacies. And what's the other one? Large meals. Oh, no, do that one. Management. Large meals. Okay. Are we going to bother with any other ones? Um, yes, yeah, snacks we're going to do as well. There we go, that management snacks. This is basically just me trying to organize everything into a way that's going to make sense. So in which case, snacks we want bear tartar because I know that one sells. And this fighter chow, what does that do? Um, out of combat health regeneration increased by 400%. Don't know if that's who's... Hey Sephorium, thanks for stopping by. We're just working out our cooking groups at the moment. I think I might put in fighter chow. That sounds like it could be interesting. Let's do this. Fighter chow. Okay. Hey, that works. Okay. The large meals. Do I want the light meals? I haven't done light meals and they're doing a profit at the moment. And I have got some, some rank threes there. Can I move these up and down? That would be nice if I could organize it. Or we're in reverse alphabetical order. Let's make another one and call it light meals. Light meals. Yes, it is in alphabetical order. Okay. Fighter Chow got used a lot for world questing. Okay. So it still might be useful. It's showing a profit. So um, I'm thinking these things would be useful. Right, so snacks. Bear tartar, fighter chow. Right, let's put everything in. Seeing as I'm doing everything. Oops, shift click, that's it. Clear filters. Slightly cumbersome, but let's can see it working. And dried mackerels. Oh no, we need to do dried mackerel strips. There we go. So now those match better to okay. So then we go on to light meals. Um, so we need, have I got any of these? Got a few bits and pieces here and let's do it one by one. Okay, so let's start with deep fried moss gill. Okay, this was light meals were in, yes it was, okay. Then Farinar Fizz, import that. It's probably an easier way of doing this, using um, getting TSM to automatically import everything. But what I want to do with this, you used four Argus sometimes since the order hall gear doesn't work there. Okay, now it's good to know someone someone's using them. The thing is with TSM importing everything is I kind of almost want to do it the other way around and just manually look at what's just pick and choose what I want to put in. So going for far enough fears and then pickled storm ray. Let's import that. Paste item link. Okay, pickled storm ray, there we go. Add that, clear queue. This is probably the most cumbersome way of doing it possible, but and salt and pepper shank. Let's pop that in. 
Right. So these are the things I can actually make right now as well. So we've done snacks, we've done light meals. Let's look at large meals. Now these look like they could be some good ones. Um, Surama Surf and Turf. I'm sure I've got some, yeah. So that can go in easily. And... Koi scented salmon, no. Drop bar style salmon we do have. And the barracuda we don't have. Okay. So import the barracuda, please. And... What else did we need? Barracuda and drop bar we've got. Koi scented. Import that. And then what else have we got? Going the lay barbecue ribs. Lay barbecue ribs. Not lay barbecue. There we go. Right, there we go. So, feasts, clear filters. Oh, we've got not delicacies yet. Now, a shari salad I know has been selling. That's a good one. Um, the fish brule special. Doesn't look like it's going to make me any profit anytime soon. But let's put it. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. There. Fish brule special. Okay. And Nightborn Delicacy Platter looks like it's got a profit. Okay. And Hungry Magister. That I think I've sold one of those before and it's got a good profit on it at the moment. Hungry Magister. Right. Okay. So that's delicacies done. And feasts, just the one. The lavish Surama feast. Add that in. So that's our food split into the various groups. Now actually, thinking about it, the way you'd probably want to organise it is into the amounts of each thing you want to have. But at the moment, I'm thinking of putting like a generic restock um, on all of these for now, because I don't know which ones sell. So I'm thinking adding a global operation to food and yeah, we've got the selling twenties and selling fives double operation I've got, which I think I'm going to keep for now. So crafting wise, let's create a new operation. Cooking generic. I'm going to call this and how many do we want of each one max set minimum profit is going to be let's try something like 110 percent crafting I think that's going to be a good generic one. And the max restock quantity. How many would we have? I wonder. Because they go in quite a lot. So I'm thinking something quite high. Like, would you want something like 116 of them? That way you've got splitting the 20s and then the 5 and then the 1. Let's try this for now. Okay. Um, I don't know what the rest of the things mean at the moment, so I'm going to leave that at that. 
So we're going to close that, I think. No, we're going to we're going to go into our groups again and look at our ingredients. Now I've got a list of things that I want to make for ingredients. Um, cuz there's things things I'd want to maybe just collect up that I've got in my favorite searches. Um, what's going to be the easiest way to do this? Actually, I can use the recipes here. So some of the things I know I'm definitely going to use. Let's take the ones from um, Crispy Bacon is a... Um, where's my Crispy Bacon? Yeah, it's just a slice of bacon, not crispy bacon. Crispy bacon's the result of it, isn't it? So I'll leave that. We want falcosaur eggs, fatty bear steaks, lean shanks, mosskill perch, runescale koi, slice of bacon, that's what we want, and storm ray and wildfowl eggs. Let's add those in. Let's see if we're missing anything like high mountain salmon. So let's import and the high mountain salmon's one of these isn't it? How can I even make it? I can't actually make it. Oh, it is a, it is a uh, crafting reagent. Yeah. Okay. I was pressing the wrong key, that's why. High Mountain Salmon. Right, so that's in the list. Uh, flaked sea salt we get from the vendor. Right. What other things do we want? So, Lavish Surama Feast. Needs a surf and turf, call you sent us some drop by style salmon and slice of bacon. The hungry man magister needs fatty bear steaks, night porn platter, gem chips. Really? It's a new one on me. And I actually got that as a a thing that I've been selling. Sold three of them. I don't want to do that anymore. So, import gem chips. Okay. Now, okay, so that comes out of my group that it was in, which is good. That means I don't have to go back and do that. Right. We're, we're getting there. Um, now, some of these are obviously... Um, herbs. I'm wondering, because this is this is for Samadan and cooking, I'm wondering whether to take them out of my gathering one and put them in here. I think I will. I'll keep all my cooking together that way. Starlight Rose we're going to pick up. And that's the cooking vendor one. Wildfowl eggs, Starlight Rose, Gem Chips we've done, and that's so. Right. Okay. So, Nightborn Delicacy Platter we've done. Um, cursed Queer Fish. Queen, queer fish, queen of fish. That's one I haven't got on my list. Okay for that. And. Moscow Perch, we've got Black Barracuda. Don't have that on the list. Okay. Okay. So that was for the Fish Brule Special and the Salad. Now, this is where we've got the herbs in, so let's add these in. Um. Let's import Dream Leaf. Sure, I can't do it this way. It'd be nice to be able to do them all like that. 
But Dreamleaf came in. The rest didn't. That's a shame. There's only going to be one. You need to paste an item link, a specific item. Paste a list of items. Well, let's try. Let's try it with a colon between the two. That's the sort of thing I'd expect. Did that work? Farms come in. Did the fox flower come in? No. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try it with a comma. Foxflower, comma, aethral. Nope. I bet it's just a space. I've run out of things to click on here, so let's just do that one. Okay. There we go. So that's the salad ingredients. Um, where are we at? Salad, Surama Surf and Turf. Koi. Yeah, we've got Lean Shank, we've got, and those two you buy from the vendor. Labor Q Ribs. We need Labor Blood for that. Okay. We used to have a lot of that. Oh no, it's a, it's a herb. I used to think it was something you could collect off mobs. And Big Gamey Ribs, I know we've got. Yeah. Right, okay. Carrying on down the list. Greenscale Koi, Storm Ray, we've got. What was that? That's, that's sold by the cooking vendor, yeah, okay. And. Done that one. High Mountain Salmon's in the list now, that's fine. And Lay Blood. But, okay, salt and pepper shank is lean shank. Pickle storm ray we've got. Baronar fizz is the wildfowl eggs, and deep fried is the perch which we've got. And then snacks: the cursed queen fish, and silver mackerel. It's a new one. Put silver mackerel in. And bear tartare is fatty bear steak, which we've got. And spice fox or omelette is that. Right. So that's our list of ingredients that we need. And we're going to apply a shopping operation. Need to take the cooking operation off. I need to take take these two off, the cell in twenties and cell in fives. No operation. No operation. These can have their own <coughs> their own ones. Operations. Actually the food can have an operation like that, because it's a subgroup of that. And that can have the operation. Sell in twenties, add additional operation, sell in fives. And that way it will put on loads of twenties and then when it's run out of twenties it will do fives and when the fives got too small because I've got split the stack in that one um, in the post operation then that allows the partial stack and that goes in. So that should work. Sell in 20s, post cap's 20, so that's fine. So I'm happy with that. Um, really should, for the post caps, should really be 20 times 20 to have the same amount on. And that's 200, which is probably too many times, well it's only going to be four, there's never going to be too many of those, because if you had five, four or five then that would be, so the post that would be three really, selling fives. I'm going to be cooking for a while, <laughs> yes I think I will.
um, Tiforium. I'm just kind of working out how I'm going to organize the groups to see how it works. And I haven't got the um, the hat that Ignis told me repeatedly to get because I went away on holiday instead. So uh, yes, this may take a while. Still, I'm, I'm working it out. This is a new profession, so it's good to it's good to get a handle over all the different things that I might need. Operation-wise, for this, I could do with a shopping operation for my ingredients. And I wonder if the buy 90% one I've got will do me for now. 90% DB market. Max restock quantity. How many am I going to want maximum of these? Each. 500? Is that enough? Or is it too much? Because some of these I've already got a lot of. Management. By 90%, max 500. All that there, okay. So the group now has... This is the step you get impatient with. I know, it's, uh, it's tricky because I want to make sure I understand it, which is why I'm doing everything manually by hand, um, as opposed to getting either importing a group or... Um, getting um, TSM to automatically do a, a cooking one for me. So now I know this is my definitive list of ingredients that I might need. Um, see, because wildfowl eggs, I've already got 1,140, so it's not going to restock any more of those, hopefully. But some of these I haven't got much of at all, which might be worth stocking up on. And then food-wise, instead of doing a shopping operation on that, I could do a crafting operation on the things I've got. And using the cooking generic, I could make like a load of, just make what's in profit and then use the gather operation to collect up those. So let's see how this would work. Let's close this down. So if I were to go on an auctioner and look at deselect all groups, just look at ingredients and do, you need to stock a lot more of the smaller meals because they're using the big meals. That's a good point. I haven't actually um, split them that way. So maybe I need to do a, a larger restock of the, of the smaller ones if I was to search for all my ingredients looking for bargains I wonder what that would look like so they're coming in I'm getting a percentage I can see immediately which which are expensive and which are cheap Uh, what did I set my threshold to? 90% I think. Pre-crafting them makes restocking the big meals and feasts easier. Okay, maybe I could do them in a couple of, couple of batches. Right, so according to TSM, Falcosaur eggs are at 5%. Done scanning. So if I were to buy these, that'd be a buy ten, ten Falcosaur eggs. Will I outdo myself on Falcosaur eggs? I could really do with knowing the proportions of everything. So I need to know how... M I can't just do a generic buy everything because I don't necessarily need 5,000 of everything. I might need more of one thing and more of another. So I'm going to need to work out how many there are of each. So that's 
that's probably not worth doing until I've actually worked out how much of each thing I need. So the other way you would have a look at this is rather than do that, let's fill up the campfire. And if I were to do cooking now and do um, TSM groups, let's show the queue, deselect all, let's say for example snacks, let's restock selected groups. So it's suggesting I make 23 fighter chow with an estimated profit of 1,800. So therefore, I'm sure I've got some royal olives. And that's probably why they're yellow and not green. How many big meals and feasts you want and then work out how many small meals I'll need to make those. So let's say, for instance, let's clear this one. Large meals, if I did that one, I'm not expecting it because it's not a profit. So feasts was is large large meals was different wasn't it um restock selected groups large meals because that was large meals had a few here that i would have thought would have restocked hmm and work backwards from there yeah which will be limited by how much bacon you have of course yes because um the surf and turf the um the slice of bacon is required in the lavish surama feast which i can't make anyway at the moment so looking at this why when i clicked large meals did it not want to restock on these because they are listed as a profit so large meals left click Restock selected group. It's not coming up. Now, why would that be? The large meals has maybe see that I can actually make two of them. And I know I haven't got these on the auction house at the moment. So I wonder what's wrong with my group for that. Let's work this out. The so large meals, operations, uh, operations is in here, cooking generic, view operation options, 110% crafting. So is that not 110% crafting, I wonder? What if it was 105%? Yeah, even though they're saying a profit of 256, I would have thought that would margin-wise be enough. So let's try 105 and see what TSM does there on large meals, restock selected. No. Maybe I have to exit out and go back in. Large meals, TSM groups, large meals, select, restock. Hmm. Let's just check everything here. Um, let's select food, restock selected. The ones that are coming up are deep fried moss gill and fighter chow. Of all of those currently saying that none of the rest are going to be a profit which is a bit weird because even though it's saying that I would have thought maybe well let's have a look um, clear the queue so this Surama Surf and Turf 256 if I queued that estimated cost is coming in at 125 and the estimated profit is 256. So that is over double profit. 
So I would expect that to come up in my restock unless I've got more than 116 of them, which I have because I've got 158 in stock. There we go. There we go. We've got, we've got the solution. I've already made some of these, so we're not going to restock on them. Okay. So by that rationale, crafting cooking generic, if we change this to 316, we're just sort of testing this out at the moment. Clear the queue. Uh, TSM groups, restock selected groups. Aha. So now we're saying yes, make some Surimara Surf and Turf make some deep fried Moskill and make some bear tartar and make some fighter chow. Right. Okay. Probably want all those on your cook. Yeah. And then since some are intermediate crafts. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I need to maybe split my food into intermediates and final meals, perhaps. Well, let's let's go through this and see how it would work. So I'd then go gather, start gathering. And these are all retrieve from Samadan, and the cursed queenfish is buy from the auction house. Okay. Hey P4Es, thanks for stopping by. We are currently learning how to set up cooking in TSM. So we go in here and with gathering next to us, let's go buy items. And let's have a look at the price of Cursed Queenfish, which is quite pricey. We need 315 of these. So at 2 gold 75, let's just have a look at the price we were expecting. 2 gold 44. Now the estimated profit total is 10,000 gold for all of these, if they all sold. Which is quite a good profit, actually. Um, so obviously at 275, that's slightly off of that value. Now if I got a calculator up, I could work that out exactly. Um, so what are we looking at? We need 300 odds, so we're probably going to be looking at more like going down to 2... 283 so that's 20 silver times 315 so 20 times 315 which is 63 gold so that's not bad you've actually been watching me on YouTube and got hooked or hooked rather happy to be live for once Oh, it's just Raz, is it? Paz, sorry. Okay. Well, thank you, Paz, for um, stopping by. Um, I'm glad you like the YouTube videos. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not on a lot of the time. With um, that's why I put things onto YouTube because I think that's a, a good way for people to catch up on them because they disappear off of um, off of Twitch quite easily. And then you can look, go back and see my really old videos and see how bad I was. <laughs> you have to go farm them. My problem with cooking is my server is so low pop, I can't even find the mats on the auction house. I have to go farm them. Oh, that's a shame. Well, at least your time's turned into profit then, Sephorium. So I think we can take the hit of 63 gold on these um, cursed queer fish. So I'm all right with that price. So let's carry on and let's buy as much as we need. I 
keep saying queer fish. I mean queen fish. You have any price jumps through the new raid? I haven't seen anything massive, to be honest, um, Paz. It's um, I don't think my server's a particularly raidy server. Um, so I'm wondering whether I'm going to see it just like a slow gain over time. Right, another hundred, and then we're going into the six hundreds. Something's locked out there. Probably an internal auction error. Oh, we're saying we've got them all. Okay, there we go. Failed to buy this auction, skipping it. Do we need any more? Buy items. Do we need any more? No. Failed to buy this auction, skipping it. Okay. On your server, prices dropped. I heard that on the... Um... Yes, I think Sephorium has got it there. I think they will go up over time rather than... Because I think everyone everyone who wants to sell stuff has been anticipating this moment and I think they flooded the market with all their stuff and so loads of stuff's come on because everyone's expecting loads of sales then loads of people hopefully are going to buy that stuff and then like you said Sephorium prices should hopefully go up. Right, let's open up all this Queen fish, because I don't know how much I've got. <clears throat> um, and a lot of expired auctions. Right, those are the eggs. And those are the queen fish. Just gonna wait for a. We need four more queen fish. I wait until Mythic and the LFR is released. Ah, uh, that's a good point drop pencil. Yeah, the, the LFR, I mean a lot of casual people like myself aren't going to, I'm not in a a, um, a raiding guild or anything, so I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be doing this for a while. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm the sort of person that will wait, will wait till um, LFR. Oh, filled up my bags with all these expires. I still need to buy another four queen fish. Right, uh, let's go buy items. So can we buy this? Nope, failed to buy this auction. Let's see if we can buy it man manually. Uh, what is it called? Queen, cursed queen fish. Let's just type queen fish. Queen fish. First queen fish. Buy out. Yep, no. Who doesn't want to buy that one? What about this one? There we go. That one's fine. Must be because it must have been ending or something. Right. And let's do select all and post scan just to get rid of all that stuff that's expired. Oh, now some of my stuff's coming on now. Suramar Surf and Turf. Though, this is stuff that I've made already. Now, I may want to, like you said, um, Sephorium, is to keep some of these aside for the intermediate crafts. You have insane, same problem on Draenor. Now there's so much, I kind of got scared. I would lose gold with all your crystals and shards. Yeah, you you don't want to... If you can hold out, I'm sure the prices will go up. Alright, let's post all these on. So I'm thinking with my cooking groups, I'm going to need to split, split them. Although at the moment, because my I haven't got all the rank 3s, I'm not seeing a lot of profit. Um, right. Is it a mailbox? Open up mail. And I'll need to visit the bank. Pick up my ingredients. Uh, 
Got a lot of stuff expired. Alright. Alright, let's head over to the bank whilst I'm waiting for that to requeue. Now, gather items. Will this take them from the bank? Gathering crafting mats. Yes, it will. What a clever little gatherer. And then, let's just check another 10 seconds, see what's in the mail here, another 41, looks like I might not have space for that. Open all those, these are all my expires, there we go, right, so now Let's post those on, get those out of the way. See, so Suramar Surf and Turf, not enough items in the bag because of the selling 20s. Now, if I happen to have an unequal number of Surf and Turf, like 19, then it would do three stacks of five and then four of one um, to finish that off. So it's quite a good way of using two operations to post things on in, in different stack sizes. Right. So in order to test this, let's have a look. Um, let's put down a cooking fire. So our queue now looks like this. 15 serum Mars Serpent Earth, 63 Fighter Chows, 10 Bear Tartar, and 31 Deep Fried Moscow with an apparent, if that all sold, profit of 10,000. Let's try it. Let's see how. Now, I know if Ignis was watching this, he'd be shouting me, See, you should have got your cooking hat. And he was right, I should have got my cooking hat. And this would have been a lot quicker. But I'll learn. I think I need to find some quests. There's one in Stormwind. So I can collect the things I need to get the cooking hat. That's on my list of things to look into. Right. Hopefully... Some of these will sell. I don't know which cooking ones sell, other than I'm imagining the bigger stat bonuses. The salad looks like it sells. The bear tartare is obviously a unique situation for people who want to do their dungeon runs and stuff. Um, for the speed boost. Um, and the lavish feast I think people use for proper like guild raiding don't they I'm glad my cooking's going up whilst I'm doing this as well so skilling up my cooking and making a profit is win 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 hopefully just taking oh there we go expert cook just a lot a lot to cook I can see why you definitely need the hat for this. I need, definitely need to look that up. God, there's a lot of it. So, as a basic setup for my groups, I think it's working in terms of restocking and shopping, but it needs some refinement. It needs splitting, like Sephorin was saying, into doing your feasts and then things to feed the feasts because you need more of those I've got a feeling of spreadsheets in order what I might do is work out how much ingredients wise each thing needs and then do a proportional shopping list based on that or maybe do a start off with feasts and then do extra operations for 
the lesser items that are required in the feasts. It's multi-leveled, um, it would seem. But for now, this is quite a good way. Using the gather operation, this is quite a good way for me to work out um, just to cook the things that are going to be a profit and skill up on whilst I'm working with Nomi to get the other recipes. So there's a method there. Oh, I just remembered I need to finish off that goblin quest. The six trigger dude. Half did it last time. I need to go to an island. May not have enough time to do that tonight because my family's getting back soon. But hopefully I can get at least these on. And then we'll see if these sell. And then if I've got some more time tonight, I'll come back on and I'll do that quest. There's the plan. Right. That's the plan. The new plan. The new, new plan. Is we're going to finish off this. And then we're going to post these up. And then if I've got time later tonight, I'll carry on with the quests. Right. There we go. So, auctioning, post scan. So, what have we got? Those are my enchants. Now, bear tartar, fight to chow, deep fried mosquil, undercutting competition. Let's look at the item auctions as they are, see how much there are of each. So, there's me, I've already been undercut. So, let's post those on. Two auctions, five. And 15 auctions of 20 of the fighter chow. What's the sale rate of fighter chow? See, that's not that great. 0.19. Let's see if it sells. Oh, internal auction error. Looks like we're phasing. Let's try another one. Auctioning post scan. Show item auctions. So yeah, that was 0.19. Three auctions of five. And then the deep fried Moskill, that's 0.11. So maybe as well, proportionally, I should look at... Oh God, is that another phase again? That's because it's so busy. don't normally get that happening quite so much. Let's just whack these on quickly. There we go. What was Suramar Surf and Turf? See, that's got a 0.3 sale rate. So when I come to do a spreadsheet, I think I'm going to have to look at the sale rate as well and then try and proportionally do number of ingredients per sale rate and then come up with some sort of formula as to how much of everything I need. And then, of course, I've got the different ranks of the recipe to contend with. Okay, well that's that's something to think about. Okay, so that's that's cooking and basic setting up an operation for it. Uh, seems to work quite well. Well, there's my class order halls, need to pick them up. Um, there's my groups, that's what I meant to click on. So, cooking wise, we've got our food currently split into the different categories, but I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to further split these categories into like the, the feasts as one and then sub feasts and then um, mini bits and then the ingredients rather than just making buying a whole load of all of them I think I'll need to refine the shopping operation so that I buy more of one thing and less of another so proportionally I've got the right numbers so that's that'd be an interesting thing to look at but for now, I think that's going to be it for the stream. Um, thank you everyone for stopping by with your input and um, really appreciate it. So next time, let's hope everyone buys all this stuff and they have a great time with the raid. Um, and let's see what kind of money we can make. So farewell everyone. Happy crafting, enchanting, money making, selling heavy hides. And I shall see you next time.